In session two, we are going to discuss fractions, percents, and proportion. What is fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. Whenever we have a whole and divide it into pieces, then we have a fraction. Let's say we have a pizza. Um, excuse me for a second. Let's say we have a pizza and we divide it to four pieces. I will have one piece of this pizza, one slice, and so I'll have one fourth of that. A colleague of mine eats the second piece of pizza, so she has one fourth, and the third person will have two slices of pizza, so she'll have or he will have two fourths of the pizza. Now, top number says how many slices you have. It's called numerator. In fact, the numerator tells you how many of these parts we are dealing with. While the bottom number says how many slices the pizza was cut into that is called denominator. So the numerator shows how many slices you are dealing with. The denominator says how many slices the whole is divided into. Now, can we Add these fractions and see if the pizza, uh, how many of the slices of the pizza is gone. Yes, we can. We have one fourth, another one fourth, and we have two fourths of pizza gone. So we add them up because they have the same denominator. We add the numerator and we can see that the whole pizza is gone. Now the question is, what if we don't have the same denominator? Let me clear the, t the board. Now, let's say we have two pizza. The first one is divided to three slices and the second one, one slice is already gone and the second one is divided to six slices. Two of them are gone. So one third of the first one and two sixths of the second one are gone. Can we add these two fractions and see how much of the two pizza are gone? No. We cannot do that. In order to add or subtract fractions, we need to have the same denominator. Why? Because when you are, you are adding or subtracting something, the units the denominator, the names of what we are counting must be the same. We can say, for instance, we have five books plus four books, so we have nine books, right? But we cannot say five books plus four pen equal nine what? Nine books or nine pen. So the unit must be the same. 
if we have two fractions with different denominators, we, the first thing we need to do is to make the denominators the same. There are two ways to do that. The first one is to find common denominator. What do we mean by common denominator? Common denominator just means that the, the denominators in two or more fractions are the same. If, for instance, if we have two-fifths of something in one-fifth of something, the denominator are the same, then we have common denominator. Five is common in both fractions. So the only thing we do is adding up the numerator. Now, we have two fractions. One third of first pizza is gone and the two th uh, sixth of the second pizza is gone. We are interested to know how much of the pizza are gone. In order to add these two together, we need to make the denominator the same. So to do that, we multiply both parts of each fraction by the denominator of the other one. In the, this case, we multiply the six, the denominator of the second fraction by the denominator and numerator of the first fraction. And also, we, can, we do the same for the sec second fraction, meaning that we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first one. So we will have the result as 1 times 6 over 3 times 6 plus the second fraction is 2 6. We multiply it by 3 which is the denominator of the first fraction. Then we'll have 6 over 18 plus 6 over 18. The, re the result would be 12 over 18. Both of them can be simplified by 6. It's it, the amount would be two-thirds of pizza, both pizza overall, is gone. Let's do, let's work with another example. Let's say we have three-fourths and we wanted to add it to two-thirds of something else. The first step is to multiply the first fraction with the denominator of the second one. The denominator is 3. So 3 times 3 and 4 times 3 plus we multiply the second fraction by the denominator of the first one. 2 times 4 and 3 times then we'll have 9 12 plus 8 over 12 is going to be 17 over 12. And it's, it's not going to be more simplified than this, so we leave it like that. So, now, this is finding the common uh, denominator. Let's do the second way, which is finding the least common denominator. The second method is 
to find the least common denominator. Let's say we have one third and one six of one something, and we are interested to add them up. So we need to find the common denominator. To do that, we list the multiples of three, which are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, The same list for 6 will be 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. Now, we find the smallest number that is the same, which here is six in both. Now we can rewrite our uh, fraction as one third plus one six equal to. We find uh, we know our common denominator. The least common denominator is six. Now we we know our common denominator as six, and we put it down. So, the first fraction multiplied by 2 in order to have the same denominator. So, we put that one in the fraction. And the second is multiply by 1. So, nothing has changed. We put that one down too. Now, the fraction is 1 times 2 is 2 plus same denominator and plus 1 is 3 over 6, which is 1 half of the fraction. This is called the least common, is called LCD or the least common denominator. Let's do one more example. Let's say we are interested to add two fractions, 3 over 8 and uh, 5 over 12. The first thing we do is to list the multiples of 8 and 12. So multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. And multiples of 12 are 12. 24, 36, 48, and etc. Now, 24 is common in both set of numbers. Let's try to make the denominators the same. When you multiply, we have 3, 8 here. When you multiply 8 by 3, you get 24. So let's use that. If we multiply 3, 8 by 3, and 3 by 3, we get 9 over 24. This is our first fraction. And also, we have our second fraction, which is 5 over 12. 
and 12 is multiplied by 2, we multiply the numerator as well and we get 10 by 24. Right? Now we can do the addition. 9 over 24 plus 10 over 24 equals 19 over 24 which cannot be more simplified than that so this is the least common denominator our next topic is different types of fractions